As the Gulf Coast gets ready to say goodbye tomorrow to former News 5 anchor Mel Showers, people gathered today for a visitation to pay their respects to the legendary broadcaster. News 5's Jeremy Jones joins video and Jeremy for a lot of people it's hard to say goodbye. Yeah it is Pete it was difficult but it's safe to say that Mel was loved and he was loved greatly and even when I was there at the church today several people were compelled to walk up to me and tell me how much they love Mel and how much they will miss him. The career and legacy of Mel Showers will forever go down as one of the most memorable along the Gulf Coast. And I just couldn't wait to to just come, you know, watch the news because of him, you know. The former News 5 anchor died on October 19th at the age of 78. Friday afternoon, his family held a visitation for him, and from 2 to 7 p.m., cars were filling up the parking lot of Trevine Missionary Baptist Church with everyone wanting to pay their respects. I'm one of his old neighbors, and... I just want to give him a, a big send off and I'm sending all my love to his family and I'm praying for them. And with several people coming out, his family says they're grateful for the love the community is sending them. He has impacted many people over generations. And so we're grateful that people thought enough of Mel to come out and just say thank you to him and extend condolences to the family. We are great, very appreciative of that. Showers had a 50 year career with WKRG News 5 and many who watched his career go from booth announcer to anchor reflected on how his impact made everyone tune into Channel 5 for decades. Well, just miss that voice. Miss his voice, yes. He had that voice. I don't care where you were when you heard it, you knew that was male. Listen to him on the news. I always look forward for that. Showers broke racial barriers, becoming a TV presenter during a time where black journalists weren't on air. Former journalists like Vicki Howell says Showers' impact has motivated her to pursue a journalism career in Birmingham. He was breaking ground that black people weren't supposed to be on TV. So it was representation. So it was representation for us, you know. So to see somebody like him, I, I could see myself in that role. So I, I, I think I, I think he normalized what news was for me, so that it was natural for me to go into that business as a journalist, as a writing journalist, and even as a TV journalist. So I'm just always I'm very thankful. Mel's warm personality made everyone love him even more. We loved the Mel. He always encouraged us to go on. Mel always had a great personality. He was great, and I'll forever remember him that way. He's one of the greatest uh, fellows I ever met. And we played basketball together, all the old guys, you know, couldn't play the young guys. And that's when I met Mel, and I come to find out he's one of the finest persons I ever met. Mel's funeral service is tomorrow morning at the Sanger Theater on Joachim Street in Mobile. His body will lie in state from 8 to 1030, and the service will begin at 11. And if you're not able to attend, we will be streaming the funeral services for Mel beginning at 11 o'clock on WKRG.com and on the WKRG Facebook page. In the studio tonight, Jeremy Jones, WKRG News 5.